how did you come to be? How are you? How are you here? Why are you here? Um, what I mean, d- d- a succinct version, if you if you want. But, Kai was here like, a year the, and a half before me. Yeah. So I was t- tweeting a lot, and I was blogging on my own, and like tweeting the blog links. Yeah. Dave caught wind. You were doing more than blogging. You had your own store that not a lot of people know uh, about. Yeah. yeah well, what's your what's your because you, you sold your retainer. You I somehow. You yeah, so, I did. <laughs> you you wrestled at Kent State. Yes. Uh, but you somehow downplay this while at the same time not downplaying it. Like, you, you, you're not afraid to acknowledge it. And yet, like, I feel like in an office full of, like, wannabe athletes, the fact that you're a Division One wrestler should, like, shine through I more. Agree, agreed. Should, now that, I, yeah. I, I think, you know what I mean? There's but a little like, bit of resentment that I've seen, like, that people don't respect it, but he doesn't want to ask for the respect. Yeah. And, and I, I find that fascinating. Like, so, like, what was, were, were you using that as you got into the media world? Were you using your status as, like, I mean, in a similar way I kind of did, where I was, like, on a basketball team, and I was like, I'm going to use this as leverage to, you know, build a career out of, you know, whatever the hell it is we do now? Um, or was this, like, something you're like, that was my past life? Yeah, it was, it was and, definitely the past life. And A, I was doing early childhood special ed, so that didn't really so play was, a factor. Yeah. And then, like, I was tweeting. The, my tweeting style didn't really, like, yeah. you know, associate with sports at all. So, And by the time I was done with wrestling, I was – I wanted to – because in my world, I was failing. I wasn't yeah. starting. I yeah. wasn't living up to my goals or expectations, so I just well, – I was kind of a failure. You're, you're preaching to the choir. This was this was my I this is my whole identity. Yeah, it was like I, I mean, I'm sure at some point in your life you were good at wrestling, and that's how you got right. To like college. that was like, yeah, like my life awesome. for the yeah. first 18 years or whatever, and then it kind of ended. Like I hate this, and I and I'm the worst. <laughs> and then, then <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah, chewed me up. So spit now, me like, out. have you gotten to a point now where you, now like you, I'm at a point where like I sh- wish I would have uh, been more like. A pr- proud and appreciative, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, or just what like, about you? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I hear what you're saying because it was uh, the whole reason I started my blog and the whole reason I created like this persona of like a dipshit guy at the end of the bench is because it was insecurity and it was like if I can beat everybody to the punch and make fun of myself for sucking at basketball. Then no one will ever but be it's able insane to make fun how of me. we dude felt. i'm so sorry you guys had to protect <laughs> yeah, yourselves yeah, as d1 yeah, athletes yeah, yeah. i went to fucking art school boys yeah. but we <laughs> felt <laughs> both of you guys we felt yeah. so insecure oh, oh my god it is hard to be uh to be did, did either one of you have like the deal uh, uh i mean maybe kyle you did with wrestling or, or in school or art or anything else where you're like in fifth grade and like every the teachers around you or the adults around you are like you guys are fucking special and you're smart and you're th- is this something that you dealt with in life? No. Really? No. Yeah. You feel you like candidates did. for that. You feel it feels no, like it feels I was, like you were I was a bad student. I was like really? I had yeah. some savant like I would, I would memories. Like right get like a three three, but like just not I did, not a good student. Never good at school. <laughs> he was very gifted in like art in the comedic form. Uh, okay. Uh, I but guess, you, yeah. You, but but you never had, you never had anybody. Great. There wasn't anybody in your life that was like, "You're destined for something." You're, you're, you know, maybe not like that dramatic, like it's a, you know, fucking Hollywood movie, but just that, like, like you're bigger than this town, or you're bigger than this. Like you didn't, you didn't have that feeling. Like you just felt like a very average person growing up. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> yeah, man. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which you were about to agree that for me, for you and me too. I I, is, I guess like it was like yeah he's gonna go to college and wrestle but there's like no p- career with there's that no, there's nothing after that yeah it was is the point of wrestling just to go to school for free is that the end goal well pre nil yes there is there's no glory in it whatsoever so yeah it, they're very proud like proud like I don't want the glory I don't want the money I want yeah to suffer. like res- wrestling yeah. is like a very just yeah just. I, I I run a lot. That's all I remember about all the wrestlers in high school. It's just, yeah, just like, like I'm more miserable than you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a test of, of misery. So, so wait, did you get that? Like, oh, you're, you're, you're too good for this town. You're a big fish. No, small I didn't get pond. that. But like, I, so my kind of my story, I, I was, I was six foot tall in sixth grade. Uh, I was, I were was you six, really? I was six, four in eighth grade. I'm six, four now. Six, four in, I was eighth, six, four in grade? eighth grade. Yeah. When did you have a beard? Uh, I shaved the first time I shaved was sixth grade. So- I had, I didn't have like this beard, but I had like stubble on my chin, and I shaved in sixth grade. Yeah, so, so I hit, I, I hit puberty before everybody else. Well, like, that kind of like tr- like surpasses awesome and kind of is like awkward. Almost. It's yeah. awkward. Yeah. It's very awkward because you're having I, crushes on girls that look yeah. like they're I'll never, twelve. So the one time I, I ever dunked in a basketball game was in eighth grade, 
Uh, I did. I never dunked in high school because uh, I I was I was in an open gym once and I got like I, I went up to dunk and a guy fouled me pretty hard and I just became a pussy after that and like I got scared to like so I was like I'm just gonna shoot threes now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attack just the throw it all away yeah but when I was in eighth grade I, I on a on a breakaway like no one on defense I kind of cherry picked sort of deal I, I went up and 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 dunked and I remember uh, a week later I was at the high school basketball game and these two senior twin girls. Uh, smoke like i don't know i don't know what they actually look like but in eighth grade they were smoking hot yeah like, my the version i remember them they're smoking hot and they're like you're the kid that dunked in the eighth grade game right and i was like this is like a very bizarre reality to be living in yeah because i'm like, like a peak yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like, that's what there i mean has to be a peak. but even when i'm in eighth grade i knew like this is kind of pathetic that this is probably the best <laughs> my life will ever be. <laughs> when were you able you know? to buy beer for the first time yeah i mean honestly pro I, I probably could have in high school yeah yeah i could have in high school i was um but but the, I, the to, back to the original point was like I I wasn't told that I was like special and I was gonna but there was like some sort of expectation that like you're gonna I, I just I you guys feel like candidates of like the same sort of thing that like you you because we because that that was the other thing like in the in the uh, the small amount of time we've talked to each other off air um, you kind of we've kind of compared notes about you know growing up in a part of the country that gets overlooked often yeah you know? um, and. That so that was I, I I just figured that maybe there was some sort of part of that with you guys that like growing up in Wheeling, West Virginia, that someone's like, not that I'm not putting down your hometown, but I just feel like it was like a similar thing. That like in, in my, my hometown, means put it down. In, in my um, hometown, if like somebody could do something above average, they were just like, all right, you're destined for something. And and it, it kind of fucked me up when I was growing up because I was like, I don't I don't necessarily want more than the you know like yeah. I don't understand why I need. Nope. Out of any town in America, I think Wheeling, West Virginia, is the town that cares the least about Kyle and I. It's, it's, <laughs> it's insane. Like we'll I, go I don't to Woonsocket, Rhode Island, or like it, it, I don't. Yeah, I, I just I shouldn't expect them to. Yeah, but, but that, it's that you know, like it's a, such a small town. Like seeing people do something yeah. different, whether or not it's you know, in like yeah. we had a guy that like got cut from the first round of American Idol that from our town, and he's like. <laughs> He got carried back into town, like on everybody's shoulders. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's but what like, I, mean. I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah, I don't know if we shit on it too much or like. That could be it. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. You're you're from where? I'm from uh, Hendricks County, Indiana. Brownsburg's the high school I went to. It's the west side. It's not really. Is that where? Is that, that Danville? Is that in? Dan oh, holy shit! That's yeah. the town I originally grew up in, and then so I, Brownsburg and then is Brownsburg. a powerhouse in basketball and basketball. all sports yeah yeah we've become a powerhouse since i graduated especially they've like when i was playing football there it, i remember uh when i was on the football team we started like three and oh one season and we were in the others receiving votes of the uh indiana state high school poll it was a big deal it was like, yeah holy yeah. shit we're like receiving some votes and then now brownsburg football is ranked like number one in the state like constantly like all in the time football the, yeah. basketball, basketball like everything so i don't Are know they, did don't they know beat happened, ben davis this year dude, look at you <laughs> You're, this is like this they is not. his bread ben and davis. butter ben, 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 ben davis, davis, davis went tough. undefeated yeah ben kokomo davis undefeated. yeah kokomo good. jennings county <laughs> what else yeah, i remember i tried to i learned like you were doing like mr Mr. Your, basketball. That was your niche, and yeah. I, I just learned. Were you studying them? I studied to, to, it just, just to see, you, just, just in, in case, case you got case. a chance to steal. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I remember Kyle Guy. It was like Kyle Guy, 2016. Yeah, That's he went. To, he was name. most outstanding player in the Final Four. Yeah, he went to Virginia and won a national championship. So he's he was a good. He's Mr. playing basketball. in Greece now, I think. Yeah.